Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we program a counter Eaton EasySoft software here. So I'm gonna grab an input here, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says counter relay and drag that out. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and connect these. Then I'm going to select the counter relay here and I'm going to make some adjustments so um, I know how I want it to activate. So I want this to count on the pulse so every time this goes true this will count up one. So I'll activate this on the rising edge every time this is activated it will count up. Then I'm going to select the switch to function block then I'm going to set the high value here as just a constant. So I'm going to say, we're ease of purpose, I'm going to put seven here and select enter. And what that means is when my count gets to seven, the done bit will go true. So I'll come up here, bring it back to the program, and I'll just put a simple counter in here. We'll call it counter one. Enter. We'll come over to our input here. I'm gonna just put a green push button, enter, and I'll make sure this is a make, so every time it goes from a false to true transition, it will activate. Then I'm going to grab the counter relay and I'm going to drop it here in the input section, okay? And this will allow, this will go true whenever the counter gets to seven. All right, so I'll select that here. Then I'm gonna grab an output. I'm gonna come here and draw and make this connection. Then the other thing you always need to do with a counter is to have a reset because a counter is a retentive instruction. So I'm gonna come here, drag. I'm gonna make this input two. I'm gonna call this reset, enter then grab another counter, bring it over to here, and then I'm gonna come down to this value RE. This is the reset the actual value. So I'm going to activate this, draw this line to here, and let's go ahead and test out this program and see how it works. So we'll come over to simulation, hit the play button here, we'll go one, two, we'll activate this a couple of times until you see the counter, the output here go true, okay? So this is counted over that value, all right? And now this is true, I can keep activating this, all right, and it will stay true here. If I wanna reset it, I need to come in here, activate the reset, and you'll notice that this Q1 turned off. This is a quick introduction to the counters in the EasySoft software.